Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. Kellen here with Joy Life, taking a special look tonight at our old friend, the Verizon Galaxy Nexus. So if you've been following along at the site, you'll know that Android 4.2.2 was released tonight. The build's gone out to testers. They were able to pull the file URL from Google servers and you can now update to it if you'd like to. Um, it's This is the newest build of Android that's available on any Nexus, so if you update to this, you are as current as it gets. So since some of you have been on 4.1 and haven't gone with ROMs and updated to 4.2, you don't know some of the goodies we thought we'd do of sort of a 4.2 first look or walkthrough. So the first thing you're gonna notice then is the new lock screen, right? So the lock button you can unlock and you can actually unlock any spot you like. There's no longer a camera shortcut here and there's no longer a Google Now shortcut there. That's okay though, because there's shortcuts or ways to get to those, um, well, other ways to get to those. So one of those would be Google Now. If you can see this sort of dotted circle right here, if you swipe up on that, that's actually how you get to Google Now from your lock screen. Um, if you want to get your camera, it's a swipe over from the right side and that will get you directly into your camera. Now we'll come back to the camera because there's some fun stuff in there that we want to talk about. Uh, but let's go back to the lock screen. So from the lock screen now, you now have access to lock screen widgets. Yay, that means you can use dash clock. So lock screen widgets, if you swipe these down to sort of get this page. Oops, did not mean to do that. Let's go back and try that one more time. So you can swipe down and sort of get to your page setting where you can swipe left and swipe right. And you can see I've added a sound search widget in there. Here's another widget I was just playing around with. If I hit this plus, I can go ahead and add another widget. And you can see, you know, if you've got your stock stuff like calendar and the clock and email and Gmail and yada, yada, yada. And to access those or add them, you just tap on those and then they're added to a screen. Um, you can again swipe down so you can page to other stuff. So if you want to delete one, you just long press on it. You can actually rearrange these as well, or you can slide them up and remove them. So that's your um, that's your new lock screen, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and unlock. Uh, once we're at the home screen, if you want to get to Google Now, it's still the same swipe up from home to get there. So I'll still get you into Google Now, which is always awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the camera now, though, since there's a lot of fun stuff going on in the camera. So let me pull over something. How about buckyballs to take a picture of? So it's still same tap to focus, and you can take a picture, and it's really fast. Um, if you want to change settings, though, you'll notice it's pretty minimal camera now. So if we go ahead and long press here, that's how you get to switch your camera to front or change your flash settings or other settings. You can see all that stuff's down there. Uh, if you don't like this long pressing job, you can go ahead and tap this button up here and it'll get you to all those same settings. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the video camera real quick. You see same style. If we go ahead and start recording something, you can tap the screen, take a screenshot while it's still recording. That's always fun. Let's go ahead and stop that. You definitely still have your panorama mode. And then the new feature is Photosphere, which is the cool 360 sort of panorama software. So basically what you do is go up here and line up with the blue dots. And then from there, you just keep lining up with blue dots. I can't see that way, let's go this way. I know that's a little bit blurry, but I'm telling you I'm connecting the blue dots. There you go, now you can see it. Connect the blue dots all the way around. And once you're done, you hit stop and it processes that and turns it into a 360 panorama. Now you can go way up and way down and all around and all that fun stuff. Uh, but let's, so, let's go back to the regular camera. So if you swipe over quickly, this actually gets you, I'll show you that one more time. If you swipe over, this actually gets you into your gallery. Now you can see it rendering this panorama. I can swipe over and look at a new picture. So this is the one I took while I was filming the video. Let's say I don't like it. I can just swipe that up and delete it. Um, here's the video I took. Let's go ahead and look at this picture. Now, there's a new photo editor as well, I believe, and it's this little button right down here with these three rings. So if we go ahead and tap on that, should jump us right into the new editor with all these fun filters and cropping tools and enhancements and all that fun stuff. So the gallery has also been updated with a new editor. All right, now if we go back home, let's talk about the clock. So the clock, let's get the buckyballs out of the way. The clock's also new. You can see it's now a full circle. It's not a dotted circle. Um, and in here you have your normal clock and you have alarm settings down here. Oops, if I could actually touch the button. Alarm settings here. You can set up all your different alarms. You can see the UI's changed quite a bit. Um, you also can set up world clocks down here for your favorite cities across the globe. Um, then there's also a way to get into settings and night mode there. Now if you swipe to the right, you actually do have a stop clock now or stopwatch. 
If you swipe over to the far left, you do actually have a timer that you can set, which is kind of cool. Didn't have these before, so it's nice to see those included now. Um, if we go ahead and look at our notification pull down, you'll see a lot of different stuff here. So you can still swipe these away if you want. Um, they are expandable and shrinkable with the two finger swipe. Uh, but what you'll notice is there's the, the button to sort of cancel out all notifications and there's this other little card button over here. So if we tap that, that actually gets us into our quick toggles. So you can see your Wi-Fi toggles here, brightness, get into other settings, actually has a battery meter. This would be your mobile data if I had a SIM card in, airplane mode, Bluetooth, all that stuff. So swipe down, tap that card to get to those, right? That's the long way. If you wanna get there quicker, you take two fingers and swipe down from the top and that gets you right to your toggles. Now, if you wanna use any of this stuff, you can long press on Wi-Fi and they'll actually toggle that on and off. Same thing with Bluetooth, long press will toggle those on and off, which is kind of cool. If you want to get your brightness, touch on that and it'll get you in here to your brightness. Let's leave it on auto for now. So I'm going to go ahead and go into settings now. So that's the new notification panel. Pretty awesome. Let's go into settings and show you anything that's new in here. First of all, let's go into about phone and you'll see there we are running 4.2.2 on the Galaxy Nexus. i5 15 is the Verizon version. Build number JDQ39, which is the newest version of Android available. Uh, if we go ahead and tap on this, we will get to the Easter egg and a long press gets us into bean flinger. Fun, fun, fun. All right, so one thing I did want to point out is when you first flash this, developer options are not going to show. You're just going to have date and time, accessibility, and about phone. Those are not going to be there. So in order to get those there, you actually have to go into about phone and come down to your build number and tap on that a whole bunch of times. So you can see mine says no need, you're already a developer. But if you weren't, you would need to tap on that about five or six times and then it will actually magically make developer options appear, and then you can go in and turn debugging on and all that stuff. All right, so we scroll up. Another new feature is in display, and it's Daydream. So Daydream is your docking app that's built into Android now, where you can have it docked and turn on a clock, or when you charge it, it pulls up Bean Flinger or colors or your favorite current stuff. So I have mine turned to on, and I actually happen to have a Galaxy Nexus dock handy. So if I go ahead and plug this in, we should see this flip it's not instant, but it will flip over to daydream the clock. And there you go, so there's your clock, so it's good by your bed and all that fun stuff. So that is how daydream works. Let's move that back out of the way. All right, let's talk about the keyboard for a second here. So the keyboard's been updated as well, and now has sort of a gesture typing. So I could type this keyboard. I don't know if you're seeing that, but it's typing that out as I'm sort of swiping this. This keyboard is very awesome. And it types that out as I type. So the, the new keyboard is really, really good. It also predicts, I have this on, on airplane mode, but also predicts really well when you're actually in like an email or something like that and typing along. So it's got some, definitely got some cool things going on there. Um, and you know, that's basically a quick overview of what you're gonna find new in in 4.2. There's also some things with widgets automatically resizing and things like that. But for the most part, you know, you're not going to find any new apps. Although um, the browser is still listed, the old browser, along with Chrome. Um, I have a bunch of other apps installed in here, but that's basically what we've got going on. So 4.2.2 is now available if you are willing to flash it to your Galaxy Nexus on Verizon. We are Droid Life. Check us out. We've got instructions at the blog. We'll see you later. Peace.